if I could, if I could uh, ask an oracle one thing of importance, it, it might be about this because that's really sort of a, a, a dichotomous set of options for our future that should determine everything and it all may break. How close do you think are we to the precipice then? How close are we to the edge? I'm not positive we haven't already started falling off. But uh, as I said, so much is possible right now. We could sprout wings, right? So I would be curious to see how quickly Generation Z can get its its act together and learn everything and do everything. Like if 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 everything that is known about medicine is now available democratically, would it have been possible for anyone without any connection to academia or to medicine to learn everything and invent uh, or theorize some you know cure to COVID? Yeah, that would have been possible. Like really anything. Uh, that is theoretically possible has become easy. And somehow no one is confident enough in the future to try because it doesn't look like it, it's worth fighting for the future to many of us. It looks like it is worth fighting for, for what's now. And I think the most important thing for people to remember is that a future is really possible, but it takes fighting for it instead of fighting for what exists already and it's risky, but it is the only way that anyone could have anything in the future. Absolutely. And I think that some things which are, are forgotten is that civilizations, they typically don't last. They, they usually, the collapsing is the norm with civilization, that entropy happens. I would be really interested to get your thoughts on um, a few things, this sort of precipice, which we talked about that we may be on, and perhaps linking this to generation z so from my point of view right now i see that there is a lot of division in the world there's um a lot of frustration you know we had say the capital riots recently uh we had protests last year covid came and that that was an existential threat um and for me, when COVID struck, I, I really thought that that was a chance to unite. I thought it was a, a real open goal to come together. Uh, but instead, it seemed to push us even further apart. I would love to know, how do you think that Generation Z will navigate this perhaps culture clash? Do you think that Generation Z can unite or do you think that it could go the other way? How do you think that will unfold? I think ultimately it really depends on how we view science. I think there, if there is a way to move beyond our divisions, that way could be theorized and that takes pursuit of truth and the pursuit of truth takes rigor. There's a question about uh, how how rigorous our generation will be in its approach to uh, reinstalling order. I think that people have things they shouldn't have. Uh, there are too many billionaires who have money that they shouldn't have. And that's why we're looking at all of this very radical stuff where we know that somehow things have to become fair and a lot of violence can be done to a civilization, which is, I think, what you were talking about. A lot of violence can be done in the name of making things fair. And it will take a lot of hard work. It won't just take activism. It will take hard work to discover and ascertain the method of least conflict to bring the world back to some livable state. And I think we need more real politicians. Uh, th those aren't people who, who fight for, for slogans, which already exist. Those are, are people who think about how to do the least damage and violence in restoring uh, whatever it is worth saving. And I think, I think we, I, 
I think we have enough at our disposal to, to pull it off. It's a question about motivation and whether the future looks so broken that it's worth fighting for.